G'day guys, Josh Canavis here from Brisbane Camperland. Well today I'm here at the beautiful Brisbane Holiday Village, only 15 minutes from Brisbane City and what a great spot in the heart of Brizzy to get away with the family for a quick escape. But we're here today to discuss the difference between the Jayco 17 foot pop top range versus the Jayco expander range. It's been the age old debate for families. Do we buy the 17 foot pop top with bunks or the 17 foot Jayco expander? We thought we'd do a quick comparison. Let's go take a look. Oh shit. Yeah. All right, before we even get in the van, we've got to talk about tow vehicles because that could be the difference between buying the 17 foot bunk model journey or the 17 foot expander pop top. Because the Jayco Expander does have the fiberglass bed ends either end, it adds about an extra 100 kilos to the weight of this unit, which pushes it just above the two and a half ton towing capacity, which rules out some vehicles. Jayco Expander will come in about 2.6 ton fully loaded, whereas the Jayco 17 foot journey, two and a half ton. With the Expanders, it's all about the bed ends. They expand out to almost double the size of the, the caravan. Simple as undoing the two latches, the solid lid, it's on gas struts, so it'll automatically raise for you. Then you simply just unlatch the bed end. The bed base will drop down. And we go inside and put one pole in place. So it's as simple as that. Obviously the Jayco Journey is gonna be the easier option when it comes to setup. But hey, for an extra three minutes of setup time, you afford yourself the additional space of the Jayco Expander. When we're looking at budgets, obviously the Expander is a more expensive option but fully folded, you're looking at a 26 foot caravan versus a 17 foot caravan. So keep that in mind when making a consideration because you are purchasing a much larger van with the expander. Another feature of this is the additional sleeping capacity. With the expander, you get a queen size on the front, a double on the rear, as well as double bunks and a table and chairs that will fold into another bed. Beautiful spacious kitchen on my right. And as we move towards the rear, the expanded does feature a combined shower and toilet. Now the shower and toilet is a feature that is very popular and it's available in a journey and an expander. So, as you can see, the expander really does afford you the additional floor space, which is good for a larger family. Tell you what, that's pretty nice. Well, let's go take a look over here. So we've seen the 17 foot expander. So here we are now into the Jayco 17 foot journey pop top. As you can see, we've still got great sleeping capacity. This model is available with three bunks as well, but what you do sacrifice with three is you sacrifice a shower and toilet. So three bunks will fill this space, you will lose a shower and toilet, but you do have the addition of the dinette which can be folded into another bed if need be. As far as I'm concerned, this is the most practical layout for this van. It gives you everything. You've got the shower and toilet, you've got the double bunks, and you've still got the dinette for the third child or the tag-along kid. Another key difference with the Jayco Journey is it does have the fixed double bed. For some campers, they prefer the comfort and security of being surrounded by a solid wall all the way around the bed, which is another reason people may choose a Journey over an expander. Another great feature of this model is the underbed storage. It's a great space to store the boogie boards, the camp furniture, and all the extra camping gear you take along. As you can see, there's plenty of room beneath there. So we hope that's helped you decide what's the right van for your family. But if you've still got a few questions, why not pop down and see the team in the dealership?